here's a few tips for using the new scannable app from Evernote. I'll be scanning a few pages from my notebook here. So I'll scan the first page. Here's the second page. It's always a good idea to check you've got a good scan on your pages before doing the next one. Yeah, that's okay. If I wasn't happy with this one, it's a good idea to get rid of this. So you can swipe up here, swipe the page up and it'll delete it. And then try again. Because once you've scanned your pages, you can't go back and replace individual pages and have it in the same order. So if I'm happy with that one, then I can progress. And here's the next one. If I wasn't happy with that, you can actually, on this main page, swipe up as well to delete a page and then try again. Okay. If um, you're using a non-glossy surface, you can also force the camera flash on, and that might help you get a better scan as well. So I could choose which one of those I preferred and swipe up on the one that I don't want. Okay, so that's three. I could do a fourth page as well. Okay. So we can easily get rid of pages. You can go back and check them. If I wanted to adjust the crop on any of my images, let's say on this one, you can tap the page and adjust the crop and you see you get this page up here, press and hold on the corners and you get a magnifying glass, you can use that to really fine tune your crop to get the corner of the page. There we go, and then hit done and it will re-crop it for you. Okay, now if we go back here into the settings I'm going to turn this back. We can adjust the file format for export. We can either have PDF or G JPEGs. If I choose PDF, everything, including single page documents, would become a PDF. So if I upload this, I can export this into Dropbox, for example. Go to my inbox and save it there. I'll now have a four page PDF document. You can also deselect a page if I didn't want all four of pages for those pages. I can have two, could even have one page document. And if I export that, save that. We can also, if we go back to the settings, turn on auto upload to Evernote. And you can choose the notebook as well, or just have your default notebook there. So now, every time, if I tap on one of my scans, and then every time I hit the upload button, it'll automatically save to Evernote. As I said, uh, we can also have it upload as JPEGs all the time. Go back here and now if I upload this Okay, so this is a JPEG scan. Now, whenever I upload this, the the Evernote upload will include all four of those JPEG scans in a single note. But if I export this with the, with all four selected to Dropbox, then I'll only get a single JPEG, which will be the first of those pages.
So I'll only have one JPEG there. It's now saving the four JPEGs to a note in Evernote though. If I wanted to select them, I can deselect all and then choose the one that I want to upload as a JPEG, perhaps. You also have the option to export to the camera roll if you like. I can upload that single image there. Okay, so if I go to Dropbox. This is my first scan. That's a four page PDF. This is my single page PDF. This JPEG is just the first page that I had, and this second one I uploaded is the third page which I selected. So that's uh, a few tips for that. If I go back to the main page and I want to start a whole new scan, so I can hit this trash button on the left, delete all, and I'm starting from scratch again.